Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about crypto ATMs, Bitcoin ATMs, Ethereum Bitcoin ATMs, multi-crypto ATMs. So, pretty exciting stuff has happened since the last time we've discussed about crypto ATMs. I think we made a video where we were at 23, 24,000 ATMs, now we're at 27,946, growing every single day. So, probably by the time this video is uploaded and after it's been and edited and all that stuff probably in the next few hours you can bet you that there has been another crypto atm installed registered and boom it's on that website so it's pretty exciting stuff Twenty-eight thousand crypto atms and especially right now when bitcoin has fallen down people are still installing them companies are still getting excited about them and the reason i wanted to make a video today is because we've had some massive movements not just because we've added a couple thousand atms worldwide but because we have a new contender. I'm pretty sure you can guess in terms of countries which country is in the top three right now for crypto ATMs. This country started with one crypto ATM. When was it? Two, three months ago? And now it has over 205 crypto ATMs with plans to install over a thousand. Any bets? El Salvador, that's right. It's the United States being number one with over 25,000 crypto ATMs. That's pretty amazing. And then, of course, you have the usual countries that are in the top 10 list. You've got Austria, you got Switzerland, you got Canada, the UK. Canada's number two. It's just under 2,000 ATMs, but then next up, third position, El Salvador. And I'm telling you, these guys are going to hit over 1,000 crypto ATMs just before you know it. Within two months, that's like 100 ATMs being installed every single month. That's pretty crazy. And they are going full out. Oh yeah, El Salvador's president is very bullish on Bitcoin. So, they are going forward. Bitcoin's already illegal tender over there. They're going forward with the airdrop. They're buying as much Bitcoin as they can. Already bought tens of millions of cryptocurrency every single month, and they're going forward again and with this drop it's kind of like a little bit of a sale for them because they had to purchase anyways but it's a lot cheaper for them to install these atms to sell bitcoin to send these transactions so that's actually good news for them now poland has dropped from number eighth to number ninth because of el salvador but it's only four crypto atms poland eastern european nation that was affected by communism so for so many years it has been poor it has been destroyed by world war one by world war ii it didn't even exist as a country for over a hundred years that's right it didn't exist as a country not just once but twice and it used to be the polish lithuanian kingdom and they have 114 crypto atms uk only has 118 uk for being such a wealthy nation now there's plenty of wealthy nations. One, the clearest example is Poland's next door neighbor, Germany, that have actually dropped in crypto ATM numbers. This is all because of regulation. So if a country is very open to crypto ATMs, you can see with El Salvador, even a poor nation like that, they're able to install them pretty quickly. And crypto ATMs aren't that expensive when it comes for multi-billion dollar corporations to install them or countries, governments, right? For an individual, it's going to be a little bit expensive. But when you compare it to, let's say, opening up a franchise business, or even starting a restaurant or whatever, it can be anywhere the cheapest is going to be is like $5,000 to $10,000, $15,000. In America, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, fifty dollars to 100000 That's because of regulation. That's because you have to get licenses and all this special blah, 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 blah. But in other nations, you just buy the crypto ATM. You have to have crypto. Maybe you get security. Maybe you don't. You just install it at a mall and there you go. Oh, yeah, and you need to have some fiat currency, but not always because sometimes all you do is just sell cryptocurrency. You collect the fiat currency but you don't actually purchase bitcoin and give out fiat currency now that's not as popular as two-way atms uh, but it is a cheaper route to start if someone just wants to get a crypto atm in uh, their store in their restaurant if they own a gas station it's always a little bit of extra revenue for them there's also franchises with crypto atms there's a lot more companies that are producing crypto atms and some of them are making big bucks over here so it is an exciting time and there's a mosquito bye-bye mosquito it's an exciting time to be alive pretty soon we're gonna hit 30,000 crypto atms not just that but america's gonna hit 30,000 crypto atms 25,000 for 50 states that's almost 2,000 per state now obviously there's gonna be more in the larger states but not always because some states, some cities have a little bit more regulation than others when it comes for financial activities, financial companies. 
but pretty exciting stuff over here. We're gonna see a lot more in Asia pop up. We're gonna see a lot more in South America pop up. There's gonna be other nations that are gonna be inspired to legalize cryptocurrency. And I'm telling you guys, pretty soon, one day, what we're gonna have is this crazy tide where we're gonna have more crypto ATMs than the actual price of Bit. Right now, Bitcoin at $43,000. We're at 25,000 crypto ATMs just for America, 28,000 for the world, approaching 30K. We might hit a point pretty soon. If Bitcoin hits $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, we might have this explosion where one year, bam, we just install 5,000, 10,000 crypto ATMs. Guys, it used to be 100 crypto ATMs. It used to be just 10. It used to be just one dude in Las Vegas, right? Now, it is exploding all over the world. This is exciting. Mass adoption, my friend. And these companies, these individuals investing into crypto ATMs, they don't care. They don't care that, oh no, there's a dip. Oh no, there's a crash. Even if it was a complete end to the bull run, even if we did go into a crypto winter for the next two years, guess what's gonna happen? You think these people are gonna stop installing their ATMs? You think they're gonna sell their ATMs? No. And also this is a pretty interesting business because even if you're not doing too hot, even if your percentages aren't that great, even if your location isn't that great, you're always able to sell the business. And I'm sure there's plenty of takers out there who want to get into cryptocurrency, who want to own a crypto ATM, and they understand especially in america it's a little bit tough to do so you need some capital you need to go through the licenses la 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 find the locations i'm pretty sure there's a, there's going to be a lot of takers so it's not like you can lose money on this as, as long as you do it the right way i mean you can lose money if you do it the wrong way if you overpay if you overpay for your crypto atms if you choose a bad location if you're a bad host if you're not working on them if they get destroyed if something happens have insurance blah 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 but a lot of exciting stuff so thanks guys for watching tonight's video have a great great rest of your day uh guys i wish you all the best see you tomorrow and if you're new to the channel it would really help out if you could hit the subscribe button and uh watch 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 every piece of engagement helps see you guys bye bye